Is your bag too big or too small? How do you know? Today we're going to talk about how to choose the right size bag for your body. Hey, this is Nana Manley. Welcome to my channel. I help women over 40 have fun with fashion and feel confident in their style. Today we're going to talk about how to find the right size bag for your body. This is a question I've been getting a lot lately and it's not something we talk about that often, right? We talk about what styles you need, what colors you need, and what's trendy, what's designer, what's fancy, what's casual, etc, etc. But we don't often talk about how to find a good size bag for your body. So before I get into the specifics about size, I want to go over what I went over a little bit in my belt video, which is that matching bag to shoes questions. Um, if your bag and shoes and belt are neutral, you can wear the same neutral in a bag, belt, and shoes. And it looks pulled together, it looks polished, but it still looks contemporary. If you've got one of those pieces is a statement piece or a conversation piece, then you're going to want to keep the other pieces neutral. So you don't want three statements in one outfit. One is plenty when it comes to accessories. So matching your, your bag to your shoes is totally fine if they are both neutral. If they're both funky, then you're going to want to choose one or the other. So I hope that was helpful. Now let's get into the specifics about bag size. First of all, how do you know what size your bag is? I'm going to show you. It's pretty easy to measure. Okay, let's talk about how to measure a bag. The first thing that you want to do is just grab a ruler. Um, I think something flat is easier, but of course you can use a measuring tape if you prefer. And I'm going to hold up a bag and show you. So the first measurement that um, I'm taking here is the height of this bag. The bag is about 13 inches high. Then you're going to want to measure across. That's the width of the bag. So this bag is, I measured it before the video. It's about six, 14, 15 inches wide. Then the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure the depth of the bag. So that's this bottom part right here that shows you how big a flat area the bag has at the bottom, right? How much stuff can you put in it? So this bag is oh about six inches deep. So width, height, and bag. The other th uh, width, sorry, width, height, and depth. The other thing you're going to want to measure is the strap drop. So that's going to go from the top of the strap to the opening of the bag. So in this case, the strap drop is about six and a half inches. Ideally, in order for a bag to fit comfortably over your arm, you want a strap drop of eight inches. Because I have small arms and small shoulders, I can still fit this over my arm, but um, a lot of women would probably prefer to wear this, like this across their body rather than over their arm because of the strap drop. So if you're looking for a bag that will comfortably fit over your shoulder, you're going to want to look for a strap drop that's what it's called, of eight inches. Okay, so that's how to measure a bag. Like I said, I really recommend measuring a bag that you already own so that you can compare other bags that you see um, in, in, in stores or online. If you're online shopping, you have an idea of what you're getting. Another thing when it comes to, to shopping for a bag online is you want to see it modeled on either a mannequin or a model because I can't tell you how many times I've had clients order things and say, oh, I got this this bag in and I thought it was going to be a great tote and it turned out that it was, you know, the size of a, an evening clutch or something. Jewelry and, um, and bags is, are very deceptive when you look at a flat shot online and if it's not on someone's face or on somebody's body, you'll have no idea how big it is. Now that we've measured, how how do you know what categories of size measurements there are for bags? So um, the general rule of thumb is if a bag is six to 12 inches wide, you can you know carry your phone, your lipstick, uh, maybe a small wallet, a couple of little things in it. That is a small bag. So I'm gonna show you what a small bag looks like on me. So this little evening bag, this is a small bag. It's about nine to 10 inches. So between six and 12 inches is considered a small bag. This isn't tiny, but it's small. So when you wear a small bag on the side of your body, um, you can see, and if, you're, if it's on a model, you'll be able to see how much width it takes here and where it falls, right? So that's, those are, these are key details to look for when you're looking at the size of a bag. So a small bag is about six to 12 inches in width. Okay, so you're measuring from width one end to the other. 
Okay, medium size bag. I'm gonna show you what a medium size bag looks like. This is from, I love this bag, it's from Rafe, R-A-F-E. Anyway, so this is medium size. It is about 12, 13 inches wide. So a medium size bag is 12 to 14 inches wide. So you can see that this takes up more space horizontally, of course, on me than the small bag does, right? So 12 to 14 inches wide, that's a medium size bag. Okay, my big, monstrously big Prada bag that you have seen in the, in the past um, is a large bag. So a large size bag is between 14 and 16 inches. This is probably large bordering on extra large. It's definitely at at least 16 inches. So 14 to 16 inches is a large bag. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on. This bag is so comfy to carry, I love it. So this is a medium size and you can see that if it had a, 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 a longer strap drop, that the straps of the shoulders would probably stay on better, right? But this is a medium, I mean, a, a large bag. An extra large bag is going to be above 16 inches wide, okay? So how do you decide if you want, or if your scale can handle the ba size bag that you have? So there are a couple rules of thumb. If you, if you want to look bigger, carry a small bag. If you want to look smaller, carry a big bag. So for example, when I carry my large, and I'm, I'm a petite person, I'm 5'2", um, when I carry my large bag, it makes me look even smaller. If I want to look a little bit bigger, I want to be more commanding, I would carry a medium to smaller size bag. Conversely, big word, conversely, if you were um, a bigger person, if you were bigger boned or taller or whatever, and you wanted to look more petite, then an, a large or extra large bag is going to make you look a little bit smaller. So it's just contrast, right? So if you're carrying a really big bag, you're gonna appear to be smaller. If you're carrying a really small bag, you're gonna appear to be bigger. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The next thing when it comes to bags and bag sizes is that you want to watch where your bag hits. You know how I always say, don't point where you don't want someone to look? It's the same thing with bags. Don't point and don't have your bag hit at a part of your body that you're not happy with. So if, you have a, a, if you're really full through the middle of your body and you have you know, an apple shape or, or a belly area that you're concerned about, you don't want a shoulder bag that's gonna hit you right at that waist, right? You want it to hit you um, lower down around the hips or you want it to be maybe one that you hold in your hands, you want it to be a satchel, you want it to be a crossbody, you want a different style. So. If your bag is hitting you directly at your waist, it's gonna amplify that waist area. If you have a lot of shape in the lower half of your body, hips, bum, and thighs are more curvy, then you don't wanna put a crossbody bag across your body, have it hit at the wide part of your hip and amplify that area. Also, it will bounce a little bit when you walk, which is kind of annoying. So if you've got shape in that lower half of your body and you, you want to downplay that a little, don't have a bag end there. Um, if you have a really full bust and you're trying to downplay your bust, then you're not going to take a bag that's like this and put it right here and have it, you know, end right here. Because what are you looking at? You're looking at the bust. So you always really want to pay attention to where your bag hits. This one hits me at my waist and I'm comfortable with it hitting me at my waist. But if I was really trying to downplay my tummy area, I would pick a bag that hit below or above this area, okay? Better yet, when in doubt, if you're not sure where the bag is gonna hit you on your body, carry it like this. Carry it over your arm, carry it as a satchel. That's the way I typically carry my bags unless I need to be hands-free. But just keep that in mind. A crossbody bag is definitely going to hit most people at the hip area. Um, and um, a satchel type bag is gonna hit most people at the waist area. So keep in mind where your bag hits. So I hope that was helpful. We got into it a little bit. We talked about measuring a bag that you have at home so you can be more accurate and be more knowledgeable when you're shopping for bags online. We talked about looking at how the bag looks on a model or a mannequin and seeing how big it is. Talked about how to measure a bag, how to assess the measurement, what a strap drop means, all of the things. Um, and really how to choose the right size bag for your body and for your wardrobe and for your life. If you're in doubt, 
go for a medium size bag. Medium 12 to 14 inches should pretty much work for everybody. It's really when we get into the very tiny bags and the huge oversized bags that we've seen a lot of in recent years that um, that flattery really becomes a consideration. So if your bag is monstrously huge or teeny teeny tiny you want to make sure that it is going to flatter your body overall i hope that was helpful i would love to do another video on bags and all the inner workings of bags and how much i love bags and my bags that i love and all that stuff so if you're interested in more information like this let me know in the comments below of course um, i love to hear from you guys so um definitely hit the like button if you like this video um don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and then of course the notification bell i upload new videos every tuesday and every friday and so you won't miss a thing if you hit that notification bell love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye